Pretty good. How are you, Janet? Pretty good. Pretty good. So you're out in the field. This is Becca Anderson, and she is our com community um, outreach program manager. And so she's talking to our customers all the time, to teachers, and she fields lots of questions. And so today we want to just ask her what's one of the questions that she gets most often. Yeah, thanks. Um, I, I hear a lot from parents and teachers the stress of not knowing what to expect come fall with um, coronavirus, what's gonna, what school going to look like. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you could give parents advice um, for one thing that they could do to um, prepare their kids for school, no matter what it looks like, what advice would you give them? Sure. Um, so that's a really good question. And I know there's, um, there's a lot of stress out there. It's summertime, but every, there's a lot of uncertainty. And um, what I've seen often is, well, a couple of things. You know, sometimes parents will try to do a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. And that can get stressful and a little overwhelming. Um, and then sometimes after some after parents try to do too much, maybe they they stop everything because they've been overwhelmed. So I always recommend trying to do one thing and do it really well and make it fun, um, and not to not to do too much. So I would recommend uh, working with your children on their basic math facts. Um, basic math facts are good for so many different reasons. Um, first of all. It's something that your children definitely need to know for math. Everything, everything in math is built on math facts, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, working on math facts also involves handwriting. If you're not using an app, if you're using paper and pencil, which is really important. So as, you're, as your child's writing, they're, also, they're, they're building number sense, um, memory, developing memory, um, and also building their fine motor skills because of their writing numbers down. And whether you write letters or numbers, that doesn't really matter for building fine motor skills and for also for building great handwriting. You know, both are both are great. Um, but I would definitely recommend basic math facts because everything afterward, whether they're in kindergarten and they're going into first or pre-K and you're going to kindergarten or fourth going to fifth, those basic math facts are the basis for everything that they're going to do. So I would recommend that. And there's so many ways to do that. I mean, they can... Uh, they can, there's, there's books and there's, um, you know, you, tra tracing um, numbers that are in a book. Um, a lot of books don't include the actual handwriting component. So I always recommend that pa parents have their children trace the entire problem, like trace the problem first and then answer it rather than just going through and answering problems because then they're not getting that, um, they're not, they're not getting that guide, the guide of like how to write the number, where to start, where to end. So if they trace the whole thing, even though it's there in like a dark, as a dark black letter, that'll help their kids learn how to form the numbers better. Yeah, that so, makes sense. So that's what I would, that's what I would recommend. Um, and then, you know, I think most importantly, when your child is working on their math facts a lot and they become more comfortable with them and they start to remember them, um, then they can, they start to build number sense. And then really once they've got that number sense, then they, they really build a lot of confidence. So mm -hmm. they feel really sure about themselves. They feel sure about, um, about math and liking math and enjoying it. And then maybe possibly going and taking advantage of some hobbies that have to do with math or engineering programming, yeah. things like that. So I, I, I'm a math fan. <laughs> I can <tell. laughs> Well, thank you. That sounds, that sounds very doable. Have, just picking one, yeah. doing it really well. And math facts is a thing. As a parent, I don't feel intimidated working on addition and subtraction with my first grader. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, if, if there's no, if there isn't a book around, you can just talk about it in the car. You can throw dice and your kids can count the, the dots on a dice. I mean, there's so many different ways to practice math. So, and, and they're all good. So any, any little practice you can get in there that your kids are enjoying and that you're enjoying, you know, so mm -hmm. important that the parent enjoys it too, um, is fantastic. So thank you. Well, thank you for your advice today. Thank you. Well, thanks for, thanks for joining me today. I, I enjoyed this. We should do it again. We should. <laughs> we'll do it again soon. Okay. All right. Bye, Becca.